Second, a 2007 study by Jason, J-A-S-O-N, the independent science group that advises the government on nuclear weapons, confirmed that the existing warhead cores could be viable for 100 years or longer. And since the size of the U.S. arsenal should be moved down, not up, a costly upgrade of the production complex is absurd, while so many other basic needs in our declining economy go wanting. Third, this program makes it possible for the U.S. to reconfigure nuclear weapons for new strategic purposes, such as deep bunker busters, an action which violates our own international agreements. Fourth, this proposed program is provocative because it, this extended U.S. nuclear arsenal communicates to the world that U.S. national security is fully dependent on these devastating weapons. At the same time, Washington seems to convince the world, seeks to convince the world that nations like Iran and North Korea should not produce a nuclear weapon, while we, of course, have thousands of them, including ones which we would be producing with new capacities. This, quote, do as I say, not as we do, approach encourages nuclear proliferation, obviously. Hans Blix, an international nuclear expert, forecasts that if these trends continue, there will be at least a dozen new nuclear powers within 10 years. Fifth, this push to significantly increase nuclear weapons spending and strategic capabilities of them undermines the very promising positions taken somewhat unexpectedly by uh, Henry Kissinger, Secretary of State under President Nixon, George Shultz, Secretary of State under President Reagan, William Perry, President Clinton's Secretary of Defense, and Sam Nunn, former chairman of the Senate Armed Forces Committee. This group and dozens of other former foreign policy officials um, have uh, indicated that they will now champion the goal of, quote, a world free of nuclear weapons as a bold initiative consistent with America's moral heritage. Like uh, many groups, um, um, I think up to uh, 62 are signed on uh, to um, across the country in a campaign to take advantage of the above initiatives to eliminate nuclear weapons. In a recent poll, 82% of the American people said that they favor the abolition of nuclear weapons and they would like to see the U.S. take a leadership role in making this happen. Um, Another hopeful sign, perhaps, recently comes from the presidential candidate Barack Obama when he said that, as president, he would um, immediately begin work toward the elimination of nuclear weapons. But before this, these uh, efforts uh, uh, can be effective, this ill-conceived and extraordin extraordinarily uh, dangerous provocative program has to be defeated. Thank you. That concludes the formal presentations of our committee and our friend from Illinois. Are there other people that are present today um, for these um, hearing for this hearing that would like to say a few words in addition? Jack Holmes from Peace Action, Wisconsin. Thank you. <clears throat> at, at this very moment that our country is in peril, our economy is in shambles, um, homeless, not enough health care. President Bush proposes to update weapons. It's, it's absolute madness, no update, scrap what we have, fun human needs. Thank you. That ends our testimony this evening. We are grateful for this opportunity to, uh, to air our views and to plead for uh, an end to this proposal uh, to move towards complete nuclear abolition for a future on this planet that is free of nuclear weapons. Thank you.